assalamu alaikum students this is uh, the first chapter of uh, the second 2.2 inflection and syntax so what is inflection and syntax in linguistic morphology inflection deals with the word formation i mean most of the words which are used in present uh, past and future forms similarly certain word categories uh, through inflections uh, write writer uh, writing uh, written all of this and uh, prefixes and suffixes these are the word formation and syntax actually deals with the rules and principles uh, of uh, grammatical category certain rules are applied when we are studying tenses in active form or passive form direct and direct and some other structure sometimes bare infinitive or infinitive verbs are required so these are certain rules we cannot i mean if anyone questions why s is added with the third person singular pronoun he she it so we cannot i uh, i mean uh, justify other than the rules so this is important so here are in traditional grammars the words are treated as basic units as we have been studying previously so in many languages words have more than uh, different forms uh, which are present in english for instance in english verbs actually there are certain inflection three inflection verbs four inflection verbs in english four inflection verbs are more and they are the dominant in uh, vocabulary similarly take takes taking taken all three different uh, you know spellings uh, similarly draw draws drew drawn drawing uh, shrink shrinks shrank shrunk shrinking a lot of so these are the five inflections next now on the basis of singular and plural what is the concept which is found here for instance it has given here uh, i mean example of cat the word cat is either in a singular form cat or in a plural form cats now the dispute is whether i mean grammatical uh, the question which has been raised whether these are the two different words or uh, two different forms let's see how the word cat has been analyzed by the author frank palmer in his uh, evaluation uh, and the definition of the word cat singular form cats plural form of the words in former usage they are different words cat has two forms of words and then cats cannot be a word but one form of word then what is left or what option is left to resolve this issue so in order to cover both the aspects it is said that uh, instead of using strict rules it is important that uh, lexeme the term lexeme or lexical item lexical item is better term it should be used and uh, uh, using different approaches of showing certain words next now the author has used small uh capital letters in order to show a word a lexical item for instance cat cat is written in small capital letter if this if if such type of word is found in this vocabulary it may be considered as a lexical item and if the same word is in italic and uh, whether it is a singular or plural form so you might think it is a form of words so let's see the best way to avoid confusion is not uh, uh, to lay down the strict rules and but so this i have already done it let's see in the next page what is the most important infinitive a french scholar use of to will or shall if we use infinitive with auxiliaries to can to may to must all unrelated to auxiliary verbs of english uh there was a french scholar who used 
uh, infinitive infinitive actually to the word to grammatically is divided into the usage of preposition for instance going to Lahore showing the place direction and similarly if it comes before the verb I mean to move to illustrate to understand so here actually to is grammatically considered as an infinitive so here it is used as an infinitive but infinitive cannot be used with auxiliaries auxiliary like can may uh, ought could uh, would would all of these from this text we are going to focus on uh, the word come it may be analyzed in various positions the sentences uh, given below both lexical item and syntactical approach let's see uh, you can read it uh, to yourself because it has been compared with the uh, latin uh, words the word come if it is analyzed here i saw him come come here at once i come every day so this syntactical actually this is showing actually the man verb is i saw from grammatical point of view but here it is not a man verb but it also shows the main idea because i saw him come it means while he was uh, performing the action of coming so when you notice till the last come here is used as an imperative because this sentence is imperative it begins with the verb I, for example we say please bring me a glass of water uh, stay at home don't move so all these are which begin with the verb so this is uh, imperative sentence so the verb is a main verb and the focus is also on the same I come every day it shows present uh, simple tense as a rule and uh, come I mean, as a regular or periodic coming the comparative analysis of word has been given we find that English is easier to understand than other European languages or any other language let's see which languages have more complex morphology than English Latin has about 120 word forms French, German, Ita Italian and other European languages have far more verb forms than English as I indicated you that English three inflection, four inflection, five inflection verbs and there may be some suffixes and prefixes which show certain variations and uh, usage uh, grammatical uh, categories, non, verb, adjective uh, pronoun all of these let's see most of the languages we are familiar with have much more complex morphology than English for instance Latin 120 word forms similarly other European languages more than except B so English like take takes taking took taken or it may be the taker and uh, then three inflections hit hits hitting and many other languages have highly complex morphology so some languages have many forms of nouns apart from uh, the possessive uh, you know forms english has never more than two singular or plural but other languages have more than this again analyzing singular and plural in english language we find uh, one more aspect like brother brothers these are the two aspects of singular and plural but the third one is brethren similarly index indexes indices there are few words i mean a very uh, to some extent not to a great extent but what about the latin nouns they have seven or eight different forms and they are all set out in the grammar books in paradigms for instance nominative singular and plural then vocative singular and plural, then accusative singular and plural, genitive singular and plural, dative and ablative. So we have to go further into the detail of all these terms which have been used 
then we might be able to understand in Latin what is uh, singular known and the plural known and how it is uh, you know, transformed or it may be modified. Latin adjectives have considerably more forms because adjectives can be masculine, feminine and neuter. Neuter are neither they are feminine nor masculine. So this shows the complexity of learning Latin language. Uh, in uh, uh, respect to uh, vocabulary. Let's see, Chinese language has no clear forms of words at all without any inflection and morphology. No inflection, no morphology in Chinese language. There are some languages with many forms of same word have morphology that is different from that of Latin, French and Arabic. All these languages show clear patterns of word forms. So that's all uh, uh, in today's uh, lecture. Uh, thank you very much.